How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey, Queen, how you doing? How you doing, Lynn? Good to see you, girl. I'm just, I'm just in my little zone, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope everybody good out there. I hope everybody good. I'm just exercising, trying to get in shape. Hopefully when y'all see me, I got some nice thighs and a small waist. And I'm cute in the face. How y'all doing? Hey, Christelle. Hey, beautiful. Y'all, I love y'all. I want all my American people and friends to know that I love y'all. And I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying for all of us. I'm asking God to have mercy on us, y'all. I'm asking God to have mercy. Different strokes, y'all. Different folks, but I want God to have mercy on us. Have mercy. I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. We need God, y'all. I'm just, I'm in a little zone, y'all. I'm calling myself trying to uh, get myself together and um, my thoughts my thoughts is like God just so good everything be happening for a reason y'all even when we don't understand everything happens for a reason everything happens for a reason y'all and we gotta trust God we gotta trust God and I'm learning that y'all I'm learning. Even when we don't understand the plan and when we don't understand the process, we got to trust God, y'all. Because God said all things work together for the good of us who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And it's a lot of us out here that love God, y'all. I'm glad you're doing good, Queen. I'm glad you're doing good, Miss Barbara. Y'all, I'm just, I'm in my little zone, y'all, that's all. I'm in my little zone. Sometimes you gotta, you just gotta run it with God, y'all. This is just therapy. This is just free therapy, y'all. I trust God. I trust God. Ain't nothing going on on God's watch that he not aware of. Ain't nothing going on. Y'all gotta stay prayed up. Y'all gotta stay prayed up. Pick y'all battles wisely. Pick y'all battles wisely. That's to all my Facebook friends who have children, who have families, who have businesses, who have jobs, who have things to lose. Don't be out here acting crazy. Be mindful. Be mindful of the things you do and mindful of the decisions you make. Linda, you say, am I getting a COVID shot? Well, actually, Queen, my plan for the COVID shot is simply this. Wait my turn. I'm not going to uh, sign up for anything, Linda. I'm not going to fill out no applications. I'm going to wait my turn and see what's going on with the rest of the world. But right now, I don't think they on um, the COVID shot is on the forefront of the news right now. They got a lot of things going on. I don't know if you've been seeing the news, but they got people um, losing their jobs because of the incident the other day. Um, they got people. I heard there was a doctor that took sick about two weeks after taking the shot and uh, I think I think he died. Don't quote me on that. I think he died. But uh, for the most part, no, they got people. 
I'm trying to, I'm just praying, y'all. I'm just praying. And my prayer is really simple, y'all. Let's have mercy on us, Lord. Because I'm telling you, I seen on the news where a lot of people, uh, professional people, gassed up and went down there to Washington. And they um, came home and their families was telling them, I don't know if you know what you did, but you all over the news. And they're telling them that uh, some people done got fired, some people done lost book deals, uh, some stores done been affected, um, some people just done been arrested. Um, it's a lot of things going on, so we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Because one thing the word did say, y'all, Different strokes for different folks, but they say every knee gonna bow and every tongue gonna confess that he is Lord. And I believe that, y'all. I believe that. I believe the day gonna come where he gonna crack these skies open. He gonna crack them skies open, y'all. Y'all, there's a lot going on. And people looking for better days. They looking for better days. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the world is coming to an end. Instead of looking for better days, better look to the hills. When's full come your help? Because it's real evil out here, y'all. It's a lot of evil that's out here. Bible say, we fighting with rulers and wickedness and principalities in dark places, y'all. It's a spiritual battle, y'all. It's a spiritual battle. And many people... Many people, God going to bring to our knees, y'all. He going to bring to our knees. We got to do right. We can't be living out here anyway. He said in his word, and I understand more now, y'all, when he said, everybody that say, Lord, Lord, they're not going to come into the kingdom. He said, he going to tell them, you workers of iniquity. <laughs> I never knew you depart from me. Them some words I don't want to hear. I, I don't want to hear from the master, y'all. I don't want to hear. I, this world ain't our home, y'all. I don't care what you accumulate. You can have the biggest house. You can have a hundred cars. You can have a bank account. All that can be taken away from you in a matter of anything. This stuff, when you die, cannot go in the casket with you. None of this. You can have 38 rooms, 20, 20 bathrooms, three steps of steps. You can't take it with you, y'all. We can't take it with us. We done been so blessed in America. We done forgot who is the one that's blessing us. God get up every day. Every day, and he don't forget to wake nail one of us up. Nail one of us up. He never forgot to wake us up, y'all. And we, we show so many signs of unappreciative. Some of us don't say thank you. Some of us don't say our grace. Some of us get blessed with cars and houses and we forgot that it's the Lord thy God that give us power to get well. Some of us get into these blessings and we turn our nose down on other people. Some of us do these things, y'all. And that's not right, y'all. God say he ain't no respect of persons, y'all. He said we supposed to love ye one another. And I'm telling you, y'all, I'm telling you, don't focus on everything that's going on in the world. Get your heart right. Get yourself right. Make sure you right with God. Make sure you right with God. Forget about your yesterdays. Think about your todays and tomorrows. Get yourself right with God. Get yourself right with God. Houses and cars and clothes and money and jewelry, that's going to be here when you're gone. That's going to be here when you're dead and gone. That's going to be here when you're dead and gone. Get your heart right. Get your health right. Get yourself together. Get your house in order. Love on your children. Find something that matter. What happened in Washington, D.C. should be a reason for everybody to rethink their life. Not rewrite your will. Rethink your life. Am I living right? They got some pastors that was on the pulpit. Is you preaching with God telling you to preach you to save these people? Or is you preaching for prosperity? Or is you preaching them feel good sermons? Or is you preaching so you could be the pimp of the church? We got to do right.
Y'all know what's going on out here in America. I want to tell y'all something. And I want y'all to spread the word. Whoa. W-O-E. Whoa. Woe unto you who call evil good. Woe. Woe unto you. Shame on you. If it's evil, it's evil. Don't try to call it good. If it's evil, it's evil. Woe unto you that try to call evil good. Boy, I had to learn this, y'all. And I had to learn it the hard way. And I'm going to share this story with y'all. Y'all can log off whenever y'all get one because I'm walking. I'm talking to God just on the live. Y'all just listening. Listening to me vent. Don't take nothing and nobody for granted, y'all. Because the person that might not be important to you is somebody God thought enough to die for. Stop turning your nose down on folk. You never know who you might need to give you CPR on. Stop doing that. Stop treating folk churn any kind of way because your churn doing good today. Everybody could do good with a silver spoon in their mouth. If you take it out their mouth and you put them on the island to fend for themselves, the churn you've been looking down on might have to help them. Might have to help them. Don't despise that crackhead and that junk and that meth head because they might keep your child from off a of crack. They might keep your child from being a junkie. They might keep your child from committing suicide. Everybody ain't built out here, y'all. We just got to tell the truth, y'all. I'm just talking, y'all. I'm just talking. God, you been good. And I can't focus on everything. Y'all know I clown a lot. Y'all know I play a lot. I do all the above. But when it's all said and done, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, too. Grown folk, grown folk, get your heart right. Get your heart right. This is 2021. This world is not our home. You can be here today and gone today. You can be here today and gone today. Please don't ever get it twisted. I don't care who you know. I don't care what you got. All this here, what we see, this vanity, baby. This vanity. It's going to be here. It's going to be here. Even if you dead and gone. Even if you dead and gone. I'm telling y'all. God want us to do better. What happened in Washington? That's a warning. That's a warning, y'all. You'll never say. God said all the things that's hidden. It's going to be revealed. You can act like y'all didn't see them people climbing up that building. You can act like you ain't see them people up in the Capitol, taking people letters and putting their foot on them desks. You can act like you don't see. You can keep on acting like you don't see. And one day, you're going to be held accountable for that which you act like you did not see. One day, you got to give account. You can fool some of the people some of the time. Oh, but God taking the blinders off, y'all. He taking the blinders off. He taking the blinders off. I heard if you open up your Bible in the King James Version, y'all, this is what I heard. I heard there's a way that seemed right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. We got to be careful out here, y'all. We got to be careful out here, y'all. We got to be careful. They say, why is the way to destruction? Y'all stay in your house and y'all mind your business. And if you love God, Y'all better pray for y'all friends and families and co-workers because there's a lot of blind leading the blind. And there's a lot of people acting off of emotions. Y'all can act crazy if you want to. You can play blind if you want to because I know y'all see what you want to see, say what you want to say, and hear what you want to hear. But if you're on this live, oh, you're going to hear the truth. You're going to hear the truth. And listen, that was January the 6th. That was January the 6th. I need you to fully understand. <laughs> we still in January. We still in January. Y'all better pray. Y'all better pray. I'm urging y'all to pray. I'm urging y'all to pray for America. The America that y'all say y'all love. America need prayers. America need mercy. We need it, y'all. We don't just need it for us. We need it for our children. We need it for our mamas. 
This is the wrong time for America to be going into a war. And the bad thing about it, it's our people against us. I thought America loved America. I thought we said we the people. I never seen nothing to where your people attack you in this matter. I, I, I just ain't never seen nothing like that, y'all. I, I know I done seen it on the movies yet. Y'all done prepared us via television. Because I feel like that purge is real. And when I tell you, when I tell you, y'all, listen to this here, y'all. I know I'm rambling, y'all, because I'm walking and I'm thinking and I got a lot on my mind. Because some stuff traumatized people. See, y'all might not be traumatized. Y'all, This might not be bothering y'all. But I thought we loved America. I thought we loved American citizens. This ain't right, y'all. This ain't right. We got to do better. We got to do better. America, y'all can have the land. You don't own the dirt no way. I don't care how you look at it. God said he owned a cattle upon a thousand hill. We'll never own it. He owned a cattle upon a thousand hill. He said all the silver and gold is mine. That's what he said, y'all. And they got some folk. Didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, y'all. And I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, we need prayers. Y'all saw what happened, and y'all act like it's the elephant in the room. Some of y'all had family members that partook in that. Some of y'all had bosses that partook in that. Some of y'all pastors took partook in that. Some of y'all husbands and wives partook in that. Now, for whatever reason, you did it to each his own. But at the end of the day, look at the results, y'all. That was done to America. And, and we the people, we felt that. I don't know if y'all felt it, but like I say, I felt it. To having to explain to your children what, what about this madness... This is, I'm going to call it again, unpresidential. It's unpresidential. I pray that y'all be genuine with yourself and talk to people because people going to need therapy, y'all. People going to need therapy. You don't know who to trust. You get sick, your doctor probably was at that rally. <laughs> you 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 got to get rushed to the hospital. The ambulance dryer, driver probably was at that rally. You going to need some medicine. The pharmacist probably was at that rally. Now just think about it. These is people that we got that got to take care of us. Y'all seen them police officers ushering them people in there. Now how I, <laughs> I don't have no word. I got word but I ain't got no word. Lord have mercy on us, Lord. Lord have mercy on us. When the people when the people who took a oath who raised their hand, even they even had a senator. He just got sworn in a couple of weeks or whenever he got sworn in. He over there at the rally cutting up. These is people we paying top dollars to with pensions and benefits, good medical insurance. And they fussing about getting us six hundred dollars. <laughs> oh America, shame on you. Shame on you, America. Shame on you. Somebody tell the truth and shame the devil. Somebody tell the truth and shame the devil. And then everybody want to take the truth and then play the blame game. Well, it didn't happen like, uh-uh, accountability. Ain't no such a thing as what happened at another rally and what happened at this rally. That's like two funerals. You go to one funeral, it's peaceful. You bury the people. You go to another funeral, and all hell break loose. That's two different funerals, y'all. That's two different funerals. Stop the madness. Stop the madness, y'all. I'm just saying, pray, y'all. Pray. Do not let January, not a day go by in January. You ain't asking God to have mercy. You better cover your house. You better watch who you eat from. You better watch who you drink from. You better watch who you get to retain as a lawyer. Some people got to sit before unjust judges because they out here. That was a lot of people, y'all. 
that was a lot of people at that rally. Not saying everybody at that rally was there for a bad cause. And not saying everybody at that rally did something other than protest. But what I'm saying is, don't act like you ain't see. Don't act like you ain't see. Lord, God was so good, you ain't see not one tank out there. Not one military tank. I ain't see not one K-9 dog. I ain't see a poodle or a pit. I ain't see a rock wall or a chihuahua. Mess with nobody out there. Oh, Rosa Parker. Oh, Martha Luther King. I ain't see a hose pipe, y'all. I ain't see none of that. I ain't see none of that. I ain't see, but I did see some folk climbing over the wall. I seen folk taking selfies with the officers. I saw that. Like, is they taking a selfie with him? Like, I seen them ushering the people in the gate. Come on. Come on. Is this the officer? Oh, y'all was doing too much. God have mercy on them. God have mercy on them. Pray for the families, y'all. No matter how we feel, people lost their lives. Police, a police officer, a veteran, another young lady, a guy. No matter how we feel, lives is precious. And that could have been avoided. That could have been avoided. And guess what? You better brace yourself. You better brace yourself. <laughs> Don't act like you're retarded. I say you better brace yourself. God say every knee gonna bow. He say every knee gonna bow. Every knee gonna bow. Y'all be ready. Y'all be ready. Be ready, y'all. <laughs> don't be shocked and don't play retarded. Because cause it's already written. It's been written. Full been saying. Come on now. It's already written, y'all. It's already written. We got to do better, y'all. The American people, have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Lord. God, you say. You say it, Lord, in your word. This is what you said, Lord. Lord, you said, vengeance is the Lord, and you shall repay. That's what you said, Lord. Lord, you said, vengeance belongs to the Lord, and he shall repay. That means everybody stand back and stand down and give it to God. Stand back, stand down, and give it to God. This ain't your battle. Let God fight this battle. Can't nobody fight it better than you. Can't nobody fight this battle better than you. Let God fight this battle. Let God fight this battle, y'all. Let him fight it. You got to fight in prayer. Spiritual weapons, baby. Spiritual weapons. Uh Uh-uh. Spiritual weapons, y'all. Praise is your weapon. Praise. God say he inhabits the praise of his people, y'all. I'm telling you, that's what he say. We got to come together and we got to pray. We got to pray. At least them folk that was at the White House didn't know how to stick together. At least that. Y'all sure know how to stick together. And y'all showed us. That's what they mean when they say strength in numbers. Oh, y'all showed us. <laughs> yeah, y'all showed us. Y'all taught us a lesson. Y'all showed us the logistics, baby. You put 10 people on the wall and watch them climb over. <laughs> and when they get over, they're going to help the other 10. That's teamwork right there. That's teamwork, baby. That's teamwork. <laughs> baby. Y'all can act like y'all missed it. <laughs> don't act like you missed it. <laughs> Please don't act like you missed it. I don't like when y'all act like y'all missed it. God is trying to tell us something. He's trying to tell us something. He been trying to tell us something. But because we got selective amnesia and we around here worrying about things that don't even matter. You worrying about who got their stimulus. You worrying about who got an SBA loan. You worrying about all this and they got people climbing walls at the Capitol. And you worrying about all this here stuff. They worrying about all this here stuff and anything happen. Somebody going to come in your house and your favorite lipstick and your clothes, they're going to th- they get that to Salvation Army. All the stuff you work hard for, your children don't want that. They don't want that. They're not concerned about your favorite items. They're not worrying about that. Get, y'all, get yourself in order. Check your hearts. I'm talking to myself here, y'all. I'm talking. We got to check our hearts, y'all, because if God come back today, if he come back today, he ain't making no blank trip. You think he gonna come all the way from heaven to make a blank trip? Ah, shh. I don't care if gas is free in heaven. I don't think he gonna waste no air. 
I don't think he gonna do that. I'm telling y'all, get your get yourself together. And your children, if they don't wanna do right, if they don't wanna listen to you, you better pray for them. You better pray for them. God said, cast all your cares on him and leave them now. You better leave them now. You better leave them now. Stop beating your head against a brick wall. Stop beating your head against a brick wall. Pray for them. All you could do is tell them. All you could do is tell them. I'm telling you, y'all. And y'all keep say, say a prayer for your neighbors because you don't know what folk going through. Some marriage is going to be broken up behind this. Because, listen, you ever heard if the head fall, everything go down? Everything go down, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all see what's getting ready to take place. Don't act like y'all don't see. Don't act like y'all don't see people getting themselves ready. They getting ready for, they getting ready for war. They getting ready to turn up. They getting ready to turn up. Just call a thing a thing. I ain't playing with y'all. Call a thing a thing. You know it's getting ready to go down. And it's coming to a hood near you real soon. Real soon. And for the people that's in Washington, God have mercy on y'all. And I pray that the government y'all love really be there to protect y'all. Really be there to protect y'all. Because uh, that mace... We gonna, we gonna take that off the uh, police academy list. That mace, <laughs> we, we need that mace. If we gonna use mace, we gonna need that mace to be used for all faces. Black, brown, white, green, yellow, blue, all faces. We gonna need that mace to be used. It, it, Y'all disappointing me. I need therapy. I need therapy. Cause y'all act like y'all don't need therapy. I don't know where y'all was the other day, but that was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You had us out the way. You had us out the way, Lord. I bet you. I bet you. That party was designed to be crashed. But I'm glad. I'm glad. God had people at their house and at their job minding their own business. And y'all better repeat that. Mind your own business. <laughs> Fighting for America. Lord, all the soldiers that went to the army. I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand, y'all. I don't understand. Have mercy, y'all. Focus on some different things, y'all. Praying. Stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. We need it, y'all. I'm not just saying this. It might sound like a video to y'all, but I'm really venting, y'all. Have mercy on us. Have y'all ever heard of that group called uh, Parler? P-A-R-L-E-R, -E Parler. It's a group, I'm not sure. I think it got a red logo. Baby, that group there, that group there. Have y'all heard of it? That group there off the chain. <laughs> that group there is not sensitive, baby. If you want to know how they feel, you better go in parlor. If you want to know how they feel, you better go in parlor. If you want to know what they thinking, what they planning, what they plotting, and what they tweaking, you better go in parlor. You're trying to get in the clubhouse, huh? Uh-uh. Don't worry about the clubhouse. They got another clubhouse you don't know nothing about. And they got some of y'all on this live, y'all. Y'all looking with your eyes out because you're like, yeah, she, yeah, Paula. That's where they at. <laughs> That's where they at. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Folk got a Facebook. Folk got an Instagram. Folk got a Twitter. They don't even did my space. And you're wondering, how in the heck all these people sending these chats and how they getting connected and how they know where to meet parlor it goes down in parlor Paula is the private party parlor Paula is where is it baby you better have some strong skin if you go in parlor because if you think being called a monkey is bad <laughs> child please look at them dog i ain't seen no dogs the other day and one thing I do know, police keep K-9. I ain't see no dogs. I ain't see no dogs. Everybody in the world knew. Everybody in the world knew the electoral thing was on the 6th. You mean to tell me y'all ain't had Dede and Ice Cube out there? 
Y'all, I'm saying security, security. I'm saying, y'all, y'all. Nobody thought to hide Diddy and uh, Ice Cube. Q, Cube was working out the plan. Cube, how Cube didn't show up to work that day? I'm just saying, we gotta do better. We gotta do better, y'all. Y'all, stop worrying about things that don't matter, y'all. This world coming to an end. I ain't saying today. I ain't saying tomorrow. I ain't saying next year. But I'm just saying regroup. Because if your land law decide to evict you, let's just say, because people could do what they want. Yeah, y'all say people own this, that, what property. If they try to evict you, they sell their house, and everybody got to start moving because you don't own nothing but fake red bottom shoes. Knock off Gucci's and Louis Vuitton's and this, that, or whatever, such and such. You name it, you own it. But your name ain't in the archive for not a near piece of property. The car you leasing, you're hiding it by your people. You're worrying about the wrong thing. Get yourself in order. Get your house in order. If a storm come, you ain't even got no car to take your churn and leave. You got to try to catch a ride, and you already got full churn. That's a whole car right there. Somebody going to need a bus to get you out. And what if the bus driver was one of the drivers at the, uh, the, the Washington thing? And what if the bus you get on, they bring you to a concentration camp in Russia? Because once you get on with your little sticker and take a seat, you don't know where they're going to park that bus at. And they're going to say, this is your destination. Y'all better prepare. Y'all better prepare. You better prepare. Be careful out there. Be careful out there, y'all. I'm just saying, be careful out there, y'all. Be careful out there. Stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Pray over your churn. Pray over your house. Mind your business. And remember all your friends who had them signs in their yard for election day that took their signs out? Just because you don't see their signs in their yard, they still love who they love. They still love who they love. Now, you can let people take off their mask, their hat, or whatever such and such. Thatcher, you pregnant? Oh, Lord, I, I don't even want to ask you who the baby daddy is, Thatcher, considering you don't have a womb. So we'll figure that out later. Right now, we talking about, we talking about life. I love you, Thatcher. You know I love you, baby. I love you. And who would have thought you would be toned on, huh? Look at Thatcher, my old neighbor. I love you, Thatcher. <laughs> he know I love him. He know I love him. He know he could come disrupt a whole podcast, take my attention away and have me talking to him. Thatcher, you know what's going on, Thatcher. Thatcher, you know. You was my old neighbor, Thatcher. You know, baby. You know it's going down. It's going down, y'all. It ain't personal. I'm telling y'all, if that's what y'all think, it's personal, you wrong. You absolutely wrong. It's spiritual. It's evil. It's pure evil. Wickedness in high places. It ain't, it ain't personal. It's spiritual. And if you take it personal, you got to get out your feelings. You got to get out your feelings. Oh, but do know, God said vengeance is his. I don't care how you feel. Don't, don't count him out. Don't count him out. Remember, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. And then I'm going to let y'all go because I know y'all got things to do. But I want to tell y'all about Pharaoh and the children of Israel. I just want to tell y'all a little clip because I know y'all ain't log on for no Bible study or whatever. But uh, Pharaoh thought he was in control. Pharaoh thought he was the head nigga in charge. That was that Pharaoh thought that. I ain't never met Pharaoh, but from the way the script was written, Pharaoh thought Egypt and all, he thought that was his. He thought he had it on lock. Baby, I'm here to let you know. God will let you live in your illusion. He will turn you over to a reputable mind. He will turn you over to a reputable mind. Do you hear me? Listen to me, y'all. In the process of all Pharaoh thought he was doing, Pharaoh thought he had it going on. And he did for that time period. He did for that time. But guess what? But guess what? God began to send plagues in the lane. He began to send plagues in the land. Folk would just go to dropping dead and you wouldn't even know why. Things would just go to happening to folk and you wouldn't even know why. 
listen to this. He said, I'm summing it up. I'm paraphrasing it, y'all. Let my people go. Just let my people go. Do what you're doing, but just let my people go. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Let my people go. See, if you don't believe God got people, you ain't reading Chronicles. What do you say? If my people, he, he said we his people. He said my people who are called by my name. Y'all ain't hear me though. See, sometimes, sometimes you got to get next to him. What they say? He will buy in the shadow of the most high. Pharaoh thought, Pharaoh thought he had everything on lock. He had everything on lock, right? Well, guess what he did? Them frogs went to coming. Them flies went to coming. And everything else that God dropped on them. And before it was all said and done, Pharaoh, Pharaoh couldn't take no more. Sometimes, sometimes God will fix it to where you can't take no more. Let them do what they want to do. He'll wear you out. One thing you can't beat. How you going to beat the rain? How you going to beat the snow? How you going to beat the fire? How you going to beat the hell? How you going to beat the water? You can have all artillery in the world. Boy, y'all must have didn't see Japan when that tsunami hit, huh? Boy, they had a tsunami. It started snowing. Started having fire. God will whoop you any kind of way he wants you. Don't count God out. Huh? This for somebody who worried. Don't count God out. God is a real gangster. I'm just telling you. He a real gangster. But let me get back to old Pharaoh. Let me get back to old Pharaoh. Well, Pharaoh had an encountered all the plagues. That wasn't enough. Pharaoh still won't be the head nigga in charge. Pharaoh wanted to be the head nigga in charge. Well, guess what? After the last couple of plagues, God told him, y'all go ahead over down there to the uh, end of the ocean. Go ahead down there to the Red Sea. Go ahead on down there to the Red Sea. See, in the natural, like, let's say you in the Red Sea right now, right? Let's say you in the Red Sea, and you don't understand. You don't understand why are you at the end of the ocean, the Red Sea, and all your enemies is coming behind you. God said, keep watching. Just keep watching. Just watch God. Come on, y'all. Somebody got to watch God. See, it ain't how the story starts. It ain't how the story start. It's how the story end. <laughs> it's how it end, y'all, because you got to understand. Even then, Pharaoh decided he didn't want to let the people go. He didn't want to let them go. The nerve of Pharaoh to want to hold people hostage. The nerve of Pharaoh. Well, get what, y'all? <laughs> Follow the story now. God, God allowed Pharaoh. Listen to me, y'all. God allowed Pharaoh to follow them all the way to the Red Sea, y'all. All the way to the Red Sea, he allowed it. And guess what? Y'all know the rest of the story. Y'all know the rest of the story, but because you stayed on to hear my version, I'm going to tell you what happened. See, when it was Pharaoh's turn, it wasn't pretty. D-N.